John here guys and today we are talking about the URUAV TMX5 Lite Multi Protocol Module. Now, have you been flying your new FR Sky X9 Lite or X9 Lite Pro like this one for a while without the ability to use a D8 protocol? Well, winter is coming guys winter is coming and we all need to be able to fly our favorite whoops indoors or the very popular emacs tiny hawk which only uses a d8 receiver so what is the answer well the answer is a multi protocol module like this one you can pick this up from bangers or any other place that sells ur uav stuff for about 30 to 35 dollars comes with this little antenna that screws on and this instruction sheet which is almost worthless it does have a legend of all the different protocols that are supported but it does not tell you how to be able to activate it on your radio so first thing you want to install the little antenna take off the cover on the back of your radio and it just slides in like that so now it's physically installed but when you boot up your radio Go to the model selection, turn the internal RF module off, turn the external RF module on. You will notice that the multi, you want multi for the protocol there is not available. And that's because in order to be able to run this, you do have to flash to, I believe it's version 2.3. So I'll leave a link to um, someone else's video in the description to where you can see how to do that. I don't need to go over that. Other people have already done it. You're going to want to flash that on your radio. Then you just go to multi. And from there, you do use the legend to select whichever hardware you want. So there is Fly Sky, FR Sky X, FR Sky, you know, where you can use the D8. There is SEMA on here. There's like 20 or 30 different, 34 different protocols that are currently active on this thing. So this will let you fly all sorts of toy grade stuff, not just FR Sky D8 very very useful uh and then of course you can have both your antennas on stir on installed on there so you would set up each model to run that multi-protocol module and you can finally be reunited with your favorite whoop and it feels so good so i highly recommend if you do have one of these radios or the x light why do they name these things so similarly? The X Lite, the X9 Lite, it's, it's, uh, geez, it's so hard to tell these things apart. Uh, but you're definitely gonna need this now the winter is coming. So go ahead and get it. Link in the description below, as always. What do you think, guys? Now I'm gonna go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Uh, well, I was sent this for review, and it is a really great option to be able to run all of these things. This radio typically is $100 to $109 add on $33 or so for this module and we're about $143 for less than an Andrew Jackson. You can have the new Jumper Pro multi-protocol module built in with Hall Sensor Gimbals. So is that a better option? For a lot of people, it is going to be. If you really do need something that's a little bit smaller like this, I actually really, really love the gimbal throw, the gimbal spacing on this thing, it feels great in the hand, but it does leave me wondering why I don't have the jumper, why I don't have the jumper. What do you guys think? Is it worth it to get this combo? Now, if you already have invested in one of these radios, 33 bucks will get you up and running with anything you can throw at it. Um, but then you have to have the nuisance. If you do want to run Crossfire, there is an adapter available to be able to do that. Um, but that requires you to swap these modules in and out constantly. And they do go in and out. I actually like, you know, it's not the standard JR module bay, but this works, you know, plenty fine. It works pretty well. Um, but then the only other thing is, are you a Crossfire guy or are you R9 guy? So I'm going to be checking out the R9 system very soon. Leave your comments below. Thanks guys.